Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I try in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how I did the color grading for this very image. So many of you loved it when I posted it on Instagram. So I want to show you how I did the color grading for this very image in Capture. So this is Capture that I'm going to be using to color grade this very image. So you can see a quick before and after, and what we are going to be achieving at the end of this tutorial. So this was the image before, and this is the after, before, after, before, after. So this is what we're going to be achieving and this is the most important uh, important rather emphasis of this tutorial so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come and i reset everything and i give you some brief information about this very image so i shot this image at iso 100 and the f-stop was 1.8 and other details are right here the shutter speed was one out of 1250th of a second and I just bounced the light above here. So that is what I did when I was shooting the image. So right now in Capture, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any straightening to the image. I'm just going to go straight into color grading. And as we go along Capture 1, if at all your interface doesn't look like this and you want it to look like this, just come to Window and come to Workspace, then you come to Migration. And as we are proceeding with the tutorial, if at all you're missing any other tool in your Capture One adjustments, simply right click on those adjustments and come to Add Tool and you can get or select whichever tool you're missing. So right now in Capture One, what I tend to do when it comes to color grading is correcting the lighting or color issues with the image. So I'm just going to come to Highlight. I'm just going to take the highlights down. Then I'm going to take the whites down and I feel like the image is a little bit overexposed, so I'm just I'm just going to also take the exposure down, just like that. Then I'm going to come and add some contrast to the image. Then come to my levels right here, and I'm just going to drag in my blacks to add contrast to the image, just like that. So right now the image looks nice and contrasty. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create another or rather second adjustment layer. So right click and create a new field adjustment layer so it is on this new field adjustment layer where i'm going to be color grading the image so i'm just going to take the highlights a little bit lower just like that because i feel like they're a little bit too much and also do the same for my whites so it is on this new field adjustment layer that i'm going to do the skin tone color grading so i'm just going to scroll all the way down to my color editor tool so when you come to color editor i'm just going to come straight to skin tone and with the skin tone tool selected in capture one i'm just going to get my color picker tool right here so left click and get the color picker tool so right now i just want to get an even skin color for the model right here so i'm just going to come and i sample an area that i want to represent the rest of the skin so i'm just going to sample an area right here I'm just going to sample right here. That looks okay. Then I'm going to widen the range of that selection up to the edge by clicking and dragging it towards the edge. So right now I'm just going to even out the skin color of the model. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to uniformity and I'm just going to take the uniformity slider up. Basically what I do when it comes to capture one and also take the saturation up until, until when I see how the skin is now looking a little bit better and uniform so that is okay yeah i'm going to come to the amount and i'm just going to drag up the amount slider to have a more rich skin tone for the model right there so i'm just going to add a little bit of greens to uh, the skin tone by moving the hue slider towards the opposite of magenta you can see the, the left is going to be more magenta in the image or in the skin tone and the right is going to add more green so this is going to look okay then after I've done this, I'm just going to zoom out and look at the image from a distance. I'm just going to calm the lightness and take the lightness down. And that looks okay. But remember, as you're color grading the skin, it is also affecting down here. And it is making it look a little bit more on the dirty side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back up here and I'm going to add some little bit contrast. Some little bit of the contrast to uh, the image. Then I'm also going to come back down to my color editor and come straight to the color balance. So in the color balance, I'm just going to come 
and add a green color to my highlights just like that so you drag it towards uh, the green color so you you drag it from the center towards the color that you want to target in this case which is uh the green color that looks okay and i'm going to come to the shadows and i'm just going to add a slight bit of bluish or cyan fill or tone to the image so after i've done this i'm just going to come back to my color editor and come straight to the basic adjustments so under basic i'm just going to come to my oranges right here and i'm going to come and simply take down the lightness of the oranges just like that and also take down the saturation of the oranges then take my oranges a little bit towards uh the yellows just like that under the hues so right now we are done working on the skin and uh, let's look at a quick before and after for the color grading right now so this is the before and after before after so right now we just want to create another layer that is going to work on the background itself so in capture you can create various layers and you apply different color adjustments on them so i'm just going to right click here and i create another new field adjustment layer by new field adjustment layer, i mean the layer is going to be or the adjustments you're going to do on the image are going to affect the overall image so what i'm going to do for this case i'm just going to come right after creating it i'm just going to desaturate all the colors within the image by coming to the saturation and simply dragging out all the saturation and that is going to make the image look black and white and i'm going to come to the highlights and i'm just going to knock the highlights up and also knock up the white so basically this is what i did then I came back down to my color balance and in the color balance I simply added greens to uh, the background slightly, just a slight color. So it depends on what you want to add or you can add whichever color that you wish. So I'm just going to add it rather to my highlights and not my shadow. So just come to the highlights and add a green color to the highlights just like that. So this is okay and this is the color I chose for this image. So after doing this, remember it has been affecting the overall image. I'm just going to come and get the eraser tool. So I just want to erase the color grading on this layer, but I don't want it to affect the bottom or the layer on which we did our skin tone matching or skin tone color grading. So after getting the eraser tool, I'm just going to zoom in. And with the eraser tool, I'm just going to erase this black and white effect from affecting the skin of our model right here. And I'm just going to do a quick and rough job. So you have to take your time as you're doing this. So basically, we're just trying to reveal back the skin tone color grading that we did for our model here. And this is not all. And if at all you're finding the video helpful, Make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there who may learn a thing or two from this very channel. So make it a point that you hit the like button and also subscribe this channel. So I'm just going to come and paint on the skin just like that. And you can see that this is going to reveal back the original color within uh, the skin. So remember, we also have other areas of the skin. So you have to be careful as you're doing this and you have to take your time as you're trying to erase away color grading from some areas. So I'm just going to come and paint back uh, the skin color just like that. So I'm basically doing a slightly rough job. So right now we are done. You can as well zoom in and work on the areas that you may have not targeted quite or so. I'm using Ctrl Command Plus and to hover around the image, I'm using the space band holding it down and dragging using uh, my cursor. So if I told you paint an area that you don't want to paint, just come and get the brush tool and simply erase the effect from those areas that you didn't want to paint or erase using the eraser tool. So right now, this is what we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back to uh this very layer and i add a little bit of greenish fill to the background to make it look even better so i'm just going to come and add 
that greenish color and this is basically what i was achieving as i was trying to color grade this fair image so this is all for today's tutorial and let's look at a quick before and after for the color grading so this is the image before after before after before and after so this is all i did in caption and i exported the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching and final adjustments like straightening and cropping and everything i do so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you found the video helpful make it a point that you hit the, hit the like button so that youtube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you need more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating creating